Dancing the Waltz, Dan Long and Katia Bishiras. Miss me tonight. Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a brighter sunny day when I kiss you and call you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare. Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, I am lonesome tonight. Your heart filled with pain. Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, I'm lonesome tonight. Very elegant. Very elegant indeed. That was beautiful. Is, is she wonderful? Yeah, she's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm weeks. Yeah, all right. Oh, uh, okay, good. I'm, I'm glad to. Right, uh, what can I say? Lynn. Well, it was a bit wooden and oh. left rise. Oh, oh, don't <laughs> keep going like that. You're getting on my wick already about it. Give me a charm. <laughs> it lacked musicality. <laughs> but let me tell you this the hold was good. Your yes. footwork was good, and I tell you, this isn't an easy dance, and for a tall man, you did very well. You're right. <laughs> Foster was good. He was good. You're right. Alicia, darling, what did you think of him? Very, very elegant, Dan. I know you were so nervous, but you know what? You had nothing to worry about. You looked very competent. You looked very relaxed. You looked like you were leading Katia as well, and you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah. There you are. There you are. Now then, Bruno. Mr. Lobb, Hi, Bruno. I have to tell you something. <laughs> Technically, it was quite accomplished for a first go, but at time, you're such a gloomy look. You look like Adrian Charles on the sofa. Well, uh, <laughs> it's the look of love. You look at her, lovely smile, beautiful, and then you turn around like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, you have to conduct a performance that is a Actually, believable all the way through. Yeah. It takes time. Of, we're you've get got there. time no, to get there. <laughs> you were, yeah, you were a bit nervous. You know that's why. And you've got a lovely smile, so you. Yeah, you. Especially it. in a dance like this. Spruce. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit lippy, isn't he? <laughs> but, but, uh, Craig, you too. I thought it was a very tentative lead, actually, unlike Alicia. Um, the steps I closed, you were very turned out. You've got to be careful that you work in parallel a little bit there. Top line, I thought, was hideously rigid, which means you have no swing or sway or any of that. Rise and fall, unfortunately, was all in the knees rather than going through the heel and onto the into your releve. And um, transitions between amalgamations, I thought, were a bit crumbly. You need to get your head a little bit. A little bit more to the left, darling, yes. and smile. Yeah, yeah. But it was his first He's time. First time, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, you listen to it. Just learn a bit of it. Away you go, both of you. Yeah. Man, the man. You were great. You were wonderful. Alicia loved it. Yeah, her <laughs> mum's uh, my biggest fan, apparently, so as long as I keep the Dixon family happy, I'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be sorted. Yeah. Your first taste of Strictly Ballroom. Hungry for more? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah. And those three weeks in training, were they the longest three weeks of your life? No, I started to really enjoy it, actually, and we found a nice uh, rhythm to the, uh, the, the training session, so no, I've really enjoyed it. I thought we did better than they suggested. <laughs> well, should we find out just how well you've done? Yeah. <laughs> Scores are in. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Craig Revelhorn. Four. <laughs> Lynn.
Seven. Goodman. Seven. Alicia Dixon. Seven. Bruno Tonioli. Six. Is go. Twenty-four from the judges. Mr. Lob. As Bruno said.